In this tutorial we'll convert a PDF document to a MuseScore file that can be edited. We're going to use MuseScore 3.x which is a later version. The converted file may not open properly with an earlier version of the program. Like an older version, you see the opening screen with a list of files we opened recently and an untitled document on display. Close them. Next open an easy song in one page. This is a piano piece with two staves. Go to file and the menu shows two options import PDF and export. Choose export. We see a number of export options on top. Leave it as PDF. We'll export the file to the desktop for testing and delete it after. Save. After saving the file to a PDF, convert it back to a MuseScore file and see what we are getting. We want to get as much as possible to avoid re-entering the same info manually. Go to Import PDF. You'll be taken to the MuseScore link online. Here you have different login options including using your Google or Facebook ID. To convert a PDF file you don't need to be a registered user unless you want to access their library of scores. If you're already registered, you can use your username or email and password to login. The next screen we see a list of PDF files we tried to convert before, some successfully. On top is the button select PDF file. Pick the PDF we just created. The file is placed in a queue. In a minute we'll see the converted file on the list. Be patient, the converted file is coming soon. When you see the download link on the right it means the PDF is converted successfully. Click on it and the MuseScore file is going into your download folder. We see that the file has a funny name. Click on the up arrow to the right of the name and we see several options. Open the file and see what gets converted and what is missing. Looks like any text including the heading is not here. The tempo marking is wrong and in the wrong place. On the left the instrument for the top and bottom stave says voice instead of the default piano. Do a playback to hear if we're missing any notes. The sound isn't piano but nonetheless, the notes sound okay. This is a piece with few notes so we shouldn't have any problems getting the notes. However, all the text need to be re-entered. And the instrument need to be changed. Always check if we're missing anything. Close the converted file and the original without saving. Next we have a classical piece in a book in two pages. Before we can convert the pages into a MuseScore file, the document need to be scanned and saved into a PDF. It's best to put the book on a flatbed scanner or use a scanning device that can produce straight lines. If the staff lines are curved, the PDF can't be converted. And make sure the scan resolution is at least 300 dpi and the file saved at the highest quality possible. After doing the scans, the piece is saved as two PDF files. Check them in Acrobat. The staff lines look straight and the resolution is high enough. If we're using a multi-page score, it's best to resave each page to a separate PDF and convert each individually. Go back to the MuseScore Convert PDF page. Looks like there was an unsuccessful attempt to convert page 1 and 2 PDFs because they weren't scanned properly. Import the first page. That was quick. Looks like the online queue is not busy so the MuseScore file is ready to download in just one second. Once it is in the download folder, open it. As expected, the title is missing and the tempo marking is in the wrong place. This time we're not getting voice as the instrument so the playback should have the default piano sound. Some places have two overlapping parts on the same staff and they look okay. The dynamic symbols are in the score. And the repeats are also in. 
Scroll down to the bottom and we see some pedal markings added that were not in the original. Do a playback. In bar 1 and 2 we notice some rests added at the end giving us an extra half beat. Some notes sounded off sync. And the two C's in the melody between bar 2 and 3 are supposed to be tied. Stop the playback. Looks like the MuseScore PDF Online Converter did at least 90% of the notes correctly. Select bar 1. Do a right click to access the menu and open measure properties. We notice that the actual number of beats is more than 4. Close the menu. Check the measure properties for bar 2. And, we find the same problem. Bar 3 is correct with the actual beats as 4 4. Bar 4 is also correct. By now we know what to expect. We're going to encounter problems with a piece that is complicated with extra beats or symbols out of place. You should be happy to get most of the notes. Save it using another name for editing later and close. Next we're going to convert a quartet with four instruments by J.C. Bach. Two editions were downloaded. The first is an old copy notated by hand so forget it. The second is a printed version that was resaved into a PDF for each page. Open page 1. Looks okay. The names of the four instruments is probably going to be assigned as voice by Muse score as we've seen from the first example. Under the first note for each of the four instruments we see the dynamic marking forte but have a bracket around the symbol. This is going to confuse the converter. Scroll down and we see some grace notes in bar 8. There is a chance the converter would add these as regular notes giving us an extra half beat. Go back to the online converter page. Upload the first page and see what happens. That was fast. Download it and open the file. As always, the title and other text is missing. On top the tempo marking is supposed to say Allegro but we see the dynamic marking MP. The forte in brackets came out as Meso Forte. And the tempo is set to the default 120 beats per minute like the other two examples. On the left we see four instrument as voice. To change an instrument, double click on the name. On the menu we see change instrument under part properties. Go to woodwinds and select flute. The original part name is flute or violin 1. We'll add violin 1 to the long instrument name and OK. Looks like the break at the end of each line is matching the PDF. Do a playback. <laughs> So far so good. Bar 8 is missing grace notes for the top two parts. Oops, at the end of bar 11 we see long rests and the last two notes on the viola part is stretched. And the last bar 14 ended up on the next page. The conversion is quite accurate except for some minor issues. Save the piece in another name for editing later and close it. As we've seen from the three examples we may not get all the notes to come out correctly. As the page gets complicated, we're going to find some issues. A PDF need to be at a reasonable quality to be converted. Bye for now and thank you for watching.